Well, the Supreme Court Judge Jackton Ojuang has come out to fight the decision by the Judicial Service Commission to subject him to a tribunal to conduct, to probe his conduct. In a letter to the JSC, Justice Ojuang says the commission did not give him a chance to defend himself, which is against the provisions of the Constitution on a fair hearing. And to visit Silas Apollo with the details of what promises to be a protracted legal battle between the judge and his employer. In a letter drafted by his lawyers and addressed to the Judicial Service Commission, Supreme Court Judge Jackson Ojuang says the commission acted outside the provisions of the Constitution that gives one a right of reply when it recommended that the president sets up a tribunal to investigate him. Justice Ojuang cites Article 47 and 35 of the Constitution as part of his defense against the commission. Article 47 reads, and I quote, if a right or fundamental freedom of a person has been or is likely to be adversely affected by administrative action, the person has the right to be given written reasons for the action. Ojuang argues that the commission, contrary to the provisions of the said article, recommended that he be subjected to a tribunal, a decision he says is unconstitutional. But the JSC, while giving its recommendations yesterday, say the judge failed to honor someone's to appear and answer to the allegations filed against him and instead sent his lawyer. The commission insisted that Ojuang must appear in person to respond to the charges a request that the judge opposed. JSC say that the petition against Justice Ojuang indicate instances that may constitute misconduct, impropriety, conflict of interest, and a breach of the law guiding the conduct of judges and magistrates. Justice Ojuang has been accused of, among other things, using his position to influence a decision in a case of the Sugar Belt and in which he was rewarded with the construction of a road leading to his rural home in Migori County by Governor Okoth Obado. The judge has, however, defended himself and distanced himself from the allegations. And in his letter today, the judge now wants the JSC to serve him with, among other things, a report of the JSC committee that had the said complaint against him, copies of the transcripts of the proceedings, transcripts of the JSC sitting that recommended the formation of a tribunal, and reasons given by the JSC to warrant the formation of a tribunal to investigate the allegations leveled against him. The petition filed against Justice Ojuang is one of the many filed against judges of the Supreme Court, led by its president, David Maraga.